Good morning from a Texas rest stop. Uh, it was a little on the chilly side last night. That's why we're not going to use the outside shower on Dan the Adventure Bus. We're going to go into a uh, truck stop and uh, yeah, clean up. Today we got to drop off Claire and uh, I got to figure out where exactly I'm going. Well, Claire Doctal, how was your first shower at the truck stop? It was great. <laughs> yeah? Yes. All right. Well, if you guys haven't heard other videos, truck stop showers are 12 bucks. Um, they're great. Um, that's all I gotta say. I just feel rejuvenated. Uh, let's hit the road. Bye, my Claire. Bye. Thanks for coming with this week. Thanks for taking me. It was a lot of fun. It was. It was good. We'll have to do that again. Yes, I agree. All right. I need to fix on the bus. Uh, the tail light, for sure. I've been driving around this whole time with, um, well, I haven't been, like, missing a tail light, because I have four total. You only need two total, but I have three total right now. I want to get back up to four. Um, and to do that, I would have to take them out of the, uh, the top, um, front and rear of the bus. Also, to do that, I'd have to cover it over with some sheet metal, so I think Going over back to Alice's place. Well, it used to be, well, Chris used to be there. Long story. If you guys watched the first, like, I don't know, uh, 50 videos, back over to Austin, Texas, to the house uh, to fix up some stuff, need an oil change, um, definitely laundry, some other things. Uh, also, I have a shipment. I got myself a new lens. So uh, that was a kind of a Christmas present, uh, and uh, so expect some new cinematic shots. Those are going to be cool. It's also a macro lens, and so that will, yeah, that'll give it like a really cool look. And, and a couple other, I don't know, loose ends we'll say. So I uh, just want to thank Claire for coming along for the past week, for showing me around this area, for teaching me a part of Texas that I never knew before. Uh, it was really fun to have somebody from Texas, from a rural, rural small town, you know, kind of point things out like oil rigs and, you know, cow stuff and, you know, stuff I, I, I don't know because I didn't grow up in a small town <laughs> in, uh, yeah, the middle of Texas. So that was really cool. So definitely hope she uh, can join me again back on the bus at some point. So let's go to Austin. Just filled up Dan the Thirsty Adventure Bus over at the HEB. Um, just wanted to share the fact that the next time I do a bus, because <laughs> there will be another bus after this one, the next time I do a bus, I think I'm gonna go waste vegetable oil because this whole uh, diesel thing is burning a hole in my pocket here. Uh, it was just a hundred bucks to fill up uh, three quarters of a tank. Uh, it's 2:45 for diesel out here in uh, Texas. Also, since we're talking about cost and diesel and waste and bus number two, uh, I did have some conversations. I think I mentioned this before um, about selling the bus in the summertime. Um, I might possibly have a buyer overseas, but if somebody in the U.S. wants the bus. Um, I've put, say, 25 into it, so if somebody can cover my costs and wants it, uh, let me know. Serious offers, please email me, um, hi at jacksaustin.com. back 
at the place where it all started in Dan the Adventure Bus with like video number three or four. Um, Alice wasn't uh, a big fan of being in the video, so I think we're just gonna catch up uh, and I'll check in with you in a little bit. We'll probably do a little backyard tour as well, but we're gonna go eat and uh, I think it's gonna be barbecue. <laughs> Thank you. 